Proverbs chapter 3, wisdom bestows well-being. You know, this last Sunday I just talked about our lives and how we are to go before God, praying for well-being and taking care of our earthly lives. Listen to this verse, Proverbs 3, 1. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. You know, we look at uh, Proverbs for words of wisdom to prolong our life. But one of the important things we need to realize is what kind of life are we prolonging? If it's a life that brings us peace and prosperity, of course we want to prolong it. If it's a life that every day feels like we're out here on the lake, of course we can be. But if we can enjoy our life and there's peace in our life and prosperity, health, strength, wellness of mind, then why wouldn't we want to have a long life? But I know there's some out there and some people, why would I want to prolong this life that I'm living right now? This life of agony or anger or disappointment or pain. So it's important. It's one thing to have a prolonged life, but is it prolonged misery, pain, debt, disappointment, or is it prolonged peace and prosperity? Let's, let's pray together today and, and receive this proverb that we can meet, keep the commands in our heart to prolong our life and bring us to peace and prosperity. God, we thank you that if we command, we obey your commands and if we're obedient to your word, not only will you bring us long life, but it'll be filled with peace and prosperity. That's what we desire. God, I pray anybody today who is just full of despair and full of discouragement, God, that they would begin to cast their cares upon you. They would confess their sins and that God, you could bring them back into that place of right standing with you. God, we thank you for your words and the leadership that you give us in Proverbs. In your name we pray, amen. God bless you this morning.